my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on the WW, AKA Weight Watchers, Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I'm filming this on Tuesday because I have been out of town, as you know, the last few days in San Diego, enjoying a wonderful trip with my best friend. I will be including some pictures in Friday's weigh-in video, so make sure that you stay tuned for that so you can see pictures of our little adventure in San Diego. So today I am showing you everything that I eat throughout the day and we're gonna do a Halloween home tour. It's rainy and dreary and I'm getting all the Halloween vibes, so I'm gonna show you how we decorated our home for Halloween. Lots of new fun things this year, so I can't wait to share that with you. Of course, you're going to see Diesel and Lola and a really, really delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I won't have a recipe in today's video because I actually have jazzercise tonight, so we're gonna be kind of flying by the seat of our pants when it comes to dinner, but I have lots of great ideas to share with you today. So if you're new, make sure that you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love these what I eat in the days, Check out that description box down below for not only my nutrition coaching website, I do offer a little bit of something for everyone. I have macros and calorie calculations, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, so check that out. There's a little bit of something for everybody. Also, links and discount codes to the products that I share with you in today's video, as well as all of my favorite things are in that description box and the link to head over and join me on Facebook. I would love to have you be part of my community over there, so head on over and join us. So let's jump in to today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. make some breakfast it's almost eight so I have some eggs some baby spinach and the sweet apple chicken sausages from Trader Joe's I'm going to fry up one of these and then I'm just going to scramble some eggs with some spinach and I think that's all I'm gonna have I might have some fruit but I'm gonna make some breakfast I'm feeling a really high protein satisfying breakfast to keep me full throughout the morning all right, so here's breakfast. I decided to pair it with a couple of cuties. So I have one of the Trader Joe's chicken apple sausage, one full egg, one egg white, quite a large handful of spinach. So I'm gonna do that and then I've got water. I just went ahead and filled this cute little Coffee Over Cardio cup. I'll link this down below with 10% off on the Coffee Over Cardio website. I filled that with water. So I don't have my gallon jug filled up because I just got back from my vacation last night but I am still going to focus on a gallon of water today and I will link my gallon water jug in my normal 36 ounce cup that I use down below as well. So this is going to be breakfast. Hey guys, it's time for me to take my greens. So as you know, I use the My Adventure to Fit greens. This is in the apple banana flavor. These are my all time favorite greens. I love them. They actually just came out with a new flavor of CalMag, which is their calcium and magnesium supplement. I have the pink lemonade one. It's so good, or the raspberry lemonade, I should say. But they came out with a kiwi strawberry, limited time. So check it out. I'll link this down below for you guys. This is also my pre-workout, which you'll see me take before jazzercise tonight. But I dry scoop my greens. It's a great way to get in your greens for the day. If you're someone that struggles to get in greens, this is a quick, easy, and delicious way to do just that. You can also mix the greens in with water, kind of whatever your preference is, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my greens for the day and it's going to get me started off just right. All right, 
Greens are done. I'll link these down below for you guys. You can head on over to the website, get 10% off, and you can pick up the greens, the pre-workout, and the CalMag. It's morning snack time. So I have five points worth of the full fat, good culture cottage cheese. You guys know this is my favorite. I love the whole milk one. And I just wanted, again, a little protein. I'm really trying to hit a good protein goal today. I'll definitely share with you guys at the end of today's video what my protein goal was and if I hit it. So I have basically five points worth of the cottage cheese. I just measured that out here on my food scale. I'll link this food scale down below. I love it. I got it off of Amazon. And then I'm also going to have one point worth of kombucha. This is the 25th anniversary sacred life. This one is really good. It's kind of a berry flavored. So I'm going to have about half the bottle for one point of that and my cottage cheese. So this is my morning snack. Halloween home tour time. We are currently outside. We just have a couple of things on the outside of our house. So I have this Fright Night sign. This is from Hobby Lobby last year. And then I still haven't thrown my flowers away because they still look really good. So I left them out. And then I do have this cute little triple stacked pumpkin with this cute little owl at the bottom, also from Hobby Lobby. I do have this cute won't be back out for a bite. I picked this up at Walgreens actually about three years years ago after Halloween for 70% off. It was a total steal. And then on our front door, we do have this super cute wreath. This is from Walmart about two years ago. It's one of the more expensive Halloween decorations that I've purchased. I want to say it was about $20 well worth it because it's so incredibly cute and this is what you see when you walk in our front door but before i take you over there i wanted to show you this cute sign it says home sweet haunted home this i picked up at walmart again a couple years ago when i picked up the cute wreath for my front door so when you walk in we have our little table here fully decorated for halloween so this is kind of our our big centerpiece for our halloween decorations so on the table itself i have some black it's kind of hard to see cheesecloth i grabbed that at, at home and then i have these cute little pumpkin lights we used to hang these on the edge of our other table but this table is too big to hang them so we just kind of draped them on top these are also from walgreens a couple years ago i think i paid three dollars for the set after halloween i have this cute little trick or treat i honestly Oh, it's a dollar spot from Target. I wasn't sure where I picked that up. This is actually a $3 dollar spot Target from a couple years ago. And then I have this really cute, really tall, hello, haunted house. Now this came from an old job that I had. They actually gave this to me. They were cleaning out their Halloween decorations and so I snagged it before they tossed it. But it's metal and it has just really, it's so cute and it's nice and tall. And then on this cute little stand, also from the Target dollar spot, I have this glitter pumpkin. This actually used to light up. It's from Walmart several years ago, but it doesn't even light up anymore, but it's so cute. So I just pop him on the cute little stand and I just think that it kind of ties the top in really well. And then down below, I have a cute Halloween garland. Again, I grabbed this a couple years ago at Walmart with this cute little mini haunted house. This is a Target dollar spot item from last year this really cute boo it's actually a black glitter pumpkin i picked this up at tj maxx this year and then i have this cute little green ghost with boo cut out it lights up this is from the dollar tree so don't sleep on the dollar tree decorations so that is what is on our little table when you walk in the front door moving into the kitchen i have this cute orange and black braided mat this was from hobby lobby last year so apparently hobby lobby is not selling halloween decorations this year but they did last year so i picked up that mat and then these cute little orange pumpkins with the glitter polka dots are from the dollar tree they are so cute i love them so much and then i have this lantern this is from costco several years ago at least five and it lights up it has a cute witch on it and like a spider and a web on the other side so that is the centerpiece on my kitchen table and on my slider door i have this cute orange pumpkin with the green and purple welcome sign is just hanging here on my slider door I actually had to shut the curtain or you wouldn't be able to see it and then I have just a few things out on my kitchen counter I have this cute little trick-or-treat sign this is actually from TJ Maxx this year I always use the Bath and Body Works Halloween soaps because they're so cute and I actually picked this up last year it sits on the shelf behind my faucet but it says more booze please and this came from TJ Maxx it's really cute I just wanted something long to kind of sit 
sit behind my faucet and I did pick that up last year and then over here I have this cute little pumpkin I don't know if you guys can see but the light is on inside it just doesn't shine as bright unless it's dark out but he's really cute he's from the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago and then I have several several Halloween towels for the kitchen so I have this cute little boo one on my stove and lastly in my kitchen I have this trick-or-treat here over by my coffee bar and this is from the Target dollar spot last year so the last place I have some decorations is my office I do have a few things here in my office I have this cute little beware it's kind of glittery this is from Hobby Lobby last year. I have this ghost, it actually lights up. I think it's so cute. And this is a dollar spot item from a couple of years ago. And then on my little shelf, you can see some of this while I'm filming. That's why this side is a little more decorated. I have this cute little ghost here, also from last year's Target dollar spot. This pumpkin, it's a picture holder. That's what this little black part is for. But I just use it for a decoration. Also, Target dollar spot. And then this is my filming shelf that you can see when I actually film my videos. So I have this Cats and Bats Trick or Treat and October 31st little fake book set. This came from Hobby Lobby last year and I got all of this at like 50% off. So it was incredibly inexpensive. Also from Hobby Lobby last year is this cute little cat bowl. And then I have this basket that we usually put our Halloween candy in that I picked up several years ago from TJ Maxx. It is so cute, but I don't think we're gonna need candy this year. So that's everything that is in my office. All right, so here is my lunch. I know it's very lackluster, but I'm honestly not very hungry and I really just wanna get in some protein. So I actually have 10 of the Kid Fresh Nuggets. This is what they look like. You can actually have five nuggets for three points and they're really, really good. So I just went ahead and air fried here in my air fryer. I've got a few more going for my husband uh, for later today. So I just put it in this cute little Copper Chef air fryer. It's a small one. I love it so much. I'll link it down below for you guys. I picked it up on Amazon. So I went ahead and did two servings or 10 of the Kid Fresh Nuggets. I have about a tablespoon of this Tessame's ketchup for zero. And then I'm going to pop in a fruit. So I'm going to do one of these crispy green, crispy fruits and tangerine. They're literally like 35 calories, zero smart points, but I kind of want something sweet. So I think that'll be perfect. So this is my lunch for today. Some days you just go with convenience and protein. This is going to be my afternoon snack before I pack up and head out to Jazzercise. This is the Strawberry Built Bar. So this was released for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You guys, this is a freaking amazing. It has real strawberries in it. It has a ton of strawberry flavor, but not artificial strawberry flavor. It's truly exceptional. I am incredibly impressed. I don't know if this particular flavor will still be available when you see this video, but if it is, make sure you get your hands on this. They have so many great reformulations. I mean, I'm impressed with how Built Bar reformulated. If you're interested in picking up the strawberry or really any Built Bar, Built Boost, or Built Go, you can use my code here on the screen for 10% off and free shipping, and I'll link it down below. But I seriously can't wait to dig into this strawberry bar for only four smart points. All right, I'm packing up for the gym. So I always take this big, huge 64 gallon water container. I fill it up completely. So I have water for my pre-workout, during my workout, and after when I take BCAAs or not. I don't usually take my BCAAs on Tuesday night. For some reason, they keep me up. So I don't take them, but I need plenty of water. I'm using my cute little shaker bottle from my Miss Muscle Box. You know I love my Miss Muscle Box. I have it linked below with a discount for you for your first box, so definitely check it out. And of course, my pre-workout, my favorite is the Pineapple Banana from my Adventure to Fit. I love this pre-workout. It gives me that perfect tingle and tons of energy, which I need for a 5.30 p.m. class on a Tuesday. So I put one scoop of the pre-workout in my shaker bottle, and then I take it about 15 to 20 minutes before my workout. All right, I'm at Jazzercise, so I'm gonna head in, get ready, take my pre-workout. All right, I'm heading in 
into Jazzercise. I'm gonna visit with the instructor. She's actually one of my really good friends. So I'm gonna visit with her for a few minutes. I went ahead and grabbed my pre-workout as you saw. So I'll drink that as we visit, use the restroom and get my sweat on. So I'll be back to touch base with you guys after class and let you know how everything went. All right, I'm out of Jazzercise. Whew, that was an incredible, incredible workout. I needed it after my trip to San Diego. I just really, really needed a good workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and head home. It is 6.32. I still need to eat some dinner of some sort, so I'll show you guys what I'm having for dinner. So here's what I'm having for dinner, just a quick hodgepodge. So I have four slices of the True Story All Natural Smoked Turkey Breast. It is zero points for these four slices. And then I have three servings of the Terrafina spinach artichoke parmesan dip i'm obsessed with this dip it is so delicious i've talked about this time and time again on my channel i found this at fred meyer which is a kroger store or costco so i actually have three points worth of that and then i have four points worth of these good thins gluten-free three cheese crackers and i'm going to dip the crackers in the dip it's so good you guys so this is a seven smart point dinner and here's my dessert. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out while I eat my dinner. Let it thaw a bit. This is the Enlightened Chocolate Peanut Butter Bar. So basically dinner and dessert all wrapped into one. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing my Halloween home decor, Diesel and Lola going to Jazzercise. We had a fantastic day. Again, I am going to link all of the products that I shared with you down in the description box, as well as the other links and discount codes to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website, and the link to head over and join us on Facebook. So definitely head over and join us there. You'll also find the link for my second channel. You definitely want to head over there. Lots of good information. If you loved today's video, give it a big thumbs up. It really, really helps out my channel. And of course, I appreciate it. Subscribe, turn on your bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. Happy Wednesday, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.